Hey guys, how goes today? As you can see, I have a tray in front of me and some scissors, which means... I, I don't know, it could be numerous, it could be baking stuff, it could be arts and crafts, but no, 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 I'm going to be opening this today. I found this at Meyer. This is the Kinetic Sand Dino Excavate. <laughs> I, it was, I think it was like $4.99 at Meyer. And right, um... I don't know, I was there the other day and I saw it and I was like, you know why the heck not? Let's do this, let's do this for the channel, let's do it for fun. Looks to me there's three dinosaurs you can get in here. A T-Rex, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, and some amber stuff. And there's like a little shovel thing right here, which is really cool. It's kinetic sand, which is, I believe, like moon sand stuff. So, um, let, let me, uh, let me give a quick pause here and I'm going to open this and I'll be right back, guys. Okay. And I'm back, I opened her up. And uh, there's instructions on the inside of the box, which is really cool. I mean, obviously, the instructions tell you what to do, so you'll pop it open with the tool and everything. And you can get one of these things. Oh, heck yeah, is that a amber velociraptor claw or something like that? Heck yeah, it'd be sweet if I get that. Um, and there's the instructions on how to put the dinosaurs together once you get the skeleton. Once you figure out who it is or what it is, but I thought that was pretty cool. And also, this is made by Spin Master, which I know they've done a lot of stuff, I want to say, in the 90s. Um, I remember getting some stuff with that logo on there. But anyway, so there's the instructions. Let's check out the crate. The crate's actually really nice. Okay, I like how there's like these little details here and there. And then it's got Kinetic Sand logo up top. Got a nice little trilobite sculpting in there on the side. Looks like an Ankylosaur? Oh no, it's gotta be the Stegosaurus, duh. But it looks like an Ankylosaur a little bit. It's all scratched up and everything. And then you got dino another dinosaur claw here. At the bottom you have your tool, which is uh, the shovel. Slash pick thing. Let's let's get that on there and take it out. Hey, there's more details on the bottom. That's really nice. Well, let's take a look at this little plastic shell, <laughs> like this teal, cyan blue type thing. I don't know. I'm probably colorblind, but again, yeah, this is really cool. Um, I mean, nice little prop. I guess you use to dig the dirt out and pry the box open with this end. But I like the detail of this box. Like, I mean, if it didn't, I mean, I know it has to say Kinetic Sand, but if it didn't say Kinetic Sand, I wouldn't mind actually, like, detailing this a little bit. Like, um, getting some washes on it and paint that up and make it look really cool. Maybe paint the Trilobite. I wish they'd start making more Trilobite things. Like, I wish they'd actually sell Trilobite figures more than just dinosaurs. Like, more prehistoric things. But let's, uh, let's use this to open it up. Wait, wait, wait. Read the instructions. Yeah, it just says pop it open and there's like just black kinetic sand dirt in there. Oh, it looks like you're, uh, from the instructions that I actually read it, it looks like the amber pieces are like molds you make stamps on it or something like that. All right, we can check that out. And you can always close it with the box. Anyways, all right, let's use a little tool and try to slip it right in there, pry it over. <laughs> Actually, it feels kind of cool. I feel like a real archaeologist or paleontologist. Actually, kind of reminds me of the mummy. Like, you ever see that in the mummy scene? The first, oh, not the first, the, yeah, the 1999 one. They open it and they get attacked by whatever because of stuff. I guess I don't need those on the table no more. And then they get cursed and whatnot, but oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, that is. Alright, so there's the lid. Pop everything else off. I am really glad <laughs> I put down this tray because, oh my goodness. Alright, crate opens up pretty nicely, which is cool. I already see the amber piece. Um, <laughs> this feels so weird. It feels like I'm holding like a really weird, um, a very dry brownie. That's how it feels. There's the amber on the inside and a little bit of bone. So let's just, um, oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, let's get everything out of there. Let's bring out a nice little crevices and whatnot. There's... Good thing about kinetic sand, it is messy, but at least it like it forms back to itself. But there's some more molds right there, which is really nice. This would be like really cool for like some kind of display or something like that. But um, anyways, let's just <laughs> do it. You know, what? Should, should we just? Yeah, we should use the shovel. All right, don't mind me stuttering. <laughs> I mean, I'll honestly, don't really need the shovel, but I th I think it's that's the aesthetics. Aesthetics. So there's the amber piece, which I have the, it looks like the footprint. So that's neat. Like, yeah, I, I really like this orange translucent um, plastic. And there's a tail. Judging from this, I think I, I think I have the T-Rex. Oh no, I'm wrong. I think I have the, oh, there it is. 
Oh, cool! I got the Triceratops. All right, they're just they're just nogging there. Looks 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 very Power Rangers esque, minus like it being like bone, but looks like maybe some type of like I don't know, like or like a warrior thing they would wear on their head or something like that headdress. And then there's the rest of the body, which is fairly simple. <laughs> but yeah, this this feels like it's it feels like dry. I don't know, it, it, like I said, it feels like a dry brownie. Like, that's that's weird to me. I mean, I remember I, I had moon sand when I was a kid, which is like the same stuff, but I'm pretty sure it was softer, but I don't know, maybe it's been in the box for quite a while, but. Well, I got one out of three, which is cool. I don't plan on collecting all these, I'm not gonna lie. I just wanna do this just for fun, uh, just, just for you guys here and there. So let's see how we connect it. So I believe this is its spine. And you got two side pieces, which is the same. And you have the tail, so. All right, let's, uh, let's be a paleontologist and put this together. Although we're not real paleontologists because this is a full, full skeleton. Sometimes they don't find full skeletons. So, you know, let's put the body on first. It'll be easier than putting the noggin on. Okay, those uh, clips right in. Just boom, easy. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain. I, I thought this would be like just slightly bigger. Um... I, saw, I know I saw a bigger kit before at Walmart, I believe, that had, I think you probably got all three dinosaurs. I think those might be slightly bigger, but you never know. Oh my goodness. It's almost it's almost like pliable plastic. Where it's, it's kind of resisting going in. I don't know why. Oh, there's some kinetic sand in there. That's why. Okay. Well, how the heck am I going to get that out? Alright, I'll be right back. I'm going to get a toothpick or something, so hold on. Hold on your butts. Okay, I'm back. I poke all the holes. I had connect sand in there, so hopefully maybe this will connect better. Um, <laughs> it should. It's got like a. I, I feel bad for this for the spine of this little guy because he needs to see a chiropractor. Because yikes, that does not look comfortable at, at all. Kind of looks like a little like he, he's like scrunched up, kind of like a little snail or something. And put the tail in there, I believe, like that. Which is interesting that the tail. Almost looks like a rib cage, honestly. Then you got the head or the skull. Slap around right there, and boom. Oh, it's actually kind of something articulated. That's really cool. So, heck yeah, there's my little triceratops. That is not bad at all. I, and I like the bone color. It's not like stark white. I mean, it could have been dyed probably from like the black kinetic sand or something like that, but um, yeah, I don't know what kind of dye they use for this. It's probably not even really safe to touch but here i am <laughs> so okay this is really cool it's really neat Another little triceratops for my collection i guess <laughs> um and let's let, let let's try this L let's try this thing okay so it doesn't need much i guess oh oh try the other way you know for a footprint i guess just kind of just do that and then i don't know how well you can see that footprint but there it is. <laughs> so at least they give you something else to play with besides just doing this and that, whatever. Um, like I said, I did see the bigger version. Um, I'll put an image up on the screen right now. Um, and a couple of little, like, other pictures I find of it. But yeah, it looks like you have, like, uh, I think all three dinosaurs, they, they look slightly bigger in pictures. Um, and then there's, like, a, like a game or excavation, excavation game. God, I can't talk excavation type game where you just bury all them and you dig them up with your tool and everything so but i think it's really neat i like how you can close the box back up like i said it's really cool display purposes um it looks like you can probably display it this way no no i don't want to bend in plastic no never mind but i was wrong so i'm wondering i was gonna say i wonder if they're all the same they probably are the same i don't think they would i don't think they would mold different uh boxes but yeah like i said there's on the inside which is really cool but i think i would probably just uh paint this up a little bit so let me clear the table and I'll give you my final thoughts on this um, $4.99 kinetic sand <laughs> uh, thing I bought all right and there you have it guys there's my uh, well unboxing review and opinion on this little kinetic sand dino excavation I think it's fun if you have a little one that's in the dinosaurs um, get him this the kinetic sand's not so messy you can probably clean it up easily or just get rid of it for him 
who knows how they're gonna use it. I might just put mine in a bag or I don't, I don't know if I'll toss, I don't have no idea. I'll use something with it, I guess. I don't really want it to go to waste, but for $4.99, this isn't so bad. Um, you guys see a little di tiny, di tiny dinosaur, you get a piece of amber and then you get this really cool tool. And if you have other like figures, you know, if you have like other Mattel figures, maybe you can use this. Maybe the uh, amber collection, Alan Grant could use this, just paint it up, make it look all nice and neat or something, but. Um, overall, this isn't a bad price. This isn't a bad deal for $4.99. Um, like I said, this is the only one I'm going to get. I'm not going to collect anymore. I just wanted to try this. I am really bummed I didn't get the um, the claw amber piece, but you know what? It's totally fine. I bet someone on eBay is probably selling all these for fun and whatnot, but honestly, it's not bad. Really cool. Really cool display pieces for you. Again, if you like dinosaurs, this shovel does not want to stand up. There we go, but there it is. There's the Kinetic Sand Dino Excavation by Spin Master. Um, $4.99 you're at my local Meyer. If you don't have Meyer near you, check your Walmarts or Targets. I'm pretty sure they have it. Or maybe even Amazon. Probably probably they do. But check me out on Instagram, MikeyM1328. I have a lot more dinosaur nerd stuff. I have some horror stuff on there. Some music stuff. I need to bring that more back to the channel. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Hope you guys take care and be excellent to each other.